Today I fucked up by putting a slice of lemon in my water bottle and taking it to work. The actual foo happened three weeks ago, it bore fruit today in the most craptastic way possible. I have a stainless steel water bottle I fill up at home every morning before going to work. Each night I bring it home and stick it in the dishwasher so it will be clean for the next day. Water, nothing else. Years and years of this same routine. Three weeks ago I had some leftover lemon slices from a cake recipe I had made. I like plain water, but did not want to waste the lemon slices so had been drinking glasses of water at home with a slice of lemon in it. Why not carry this over to my water bottle to use up that last slice? Same routine as always, but now with lemon. I was quite fancy that day at work. So much sass. I completely forgot about the lemon by the time I got back home as it is new routine which has not had time to sink in yet. The water bottle goes into the dishwasher to prepare for the next day. Many days later. I am sitting at my desk this morning waiting for a video call to start. Since I'll be presenting some topics I want to make sure my mouth isn't dry and take a long drink of water from my bottle. A piece of something hits the roof of my mouth and since I am chugging water like some desert parched camel I cannot stop mid-swallow. Mystery chunk is down the hatch. Using my phone flashlight I see lodged in the bottom of the water bottle that slice of lemon from three weeks ago. It fit perfectly, likely even more cemented into place by the dishwasher jets. Unfortunately the wazer didn't kill the mold that was eroding away the center of the lemon. Those were merrily floating around in fuzzy little gag reflex inducing chunks. I have moved my presentation to a different day while I try to stop dry heaving into my mic. Too long did not read. Today I fucked up by chugging a bottle of water, dislodging a moldy lemon that had been stuck in the bottle from weeks before. Edit to add. There is a lot of concern about me running the dishwasher daily. Especially with the one guy in the comments convinced I only have my water bottle in there and nothing else. I am an idiot, not to that degree though. We're a big family. The machine is full after a day of meals for kids and adults and is run before we go to bed. I wash the bottle daily because EU lip balm, backwash, and whatever lip cells shed in there. Not that it helped as a damn lemon slice was wedged in there this whole time. Adhered into place with whatever fun molds were sprouting in the dishwasher stew. No, I didn't taste anything too off, which is not unusual. My taste buds are jacked up, that is a story for another day. Too early alright, gotta give it time to ferment into alcohol. I hate mystery chunks. Poor man's penicillin, yes? You hydro homied a little too hard there bud. Oof. Pro tip. Enhanced water only goes in see-through bottles. I like these kind of TIFUs. They are genuine and not like half the other posts about made up sex stories for karma. Thank you as your misfortune made me smile. TIFU. My mom gave my cum sweater to my cousin. Thinking about this shit is seriously making me extremely embarrassed of myself like WTF. So basically, I, am 18. Had a cum rag that's my old sweater and my mom decided to give that sweater to my cousin while she was cleaning the house. She thinks that it's still okay and still look good so my cousin can keep it. In my country we have this tradition of giving off old clothes to your younger siblings or cousin for some reason. I used that sweater as a cum rag only once about one and a half year ago when I was just too lazy to get up and there's that sweater next to me so I wiped off my cum with it then I completely forgot about that sweater since for some reason I tried to hide it instead of cleaning it. That sweater was literally on a box for a whole year and I forgot about it completely. So my mom basically gave my cousin a sweater with one-year-old cum to it like WTF. I still remember my cum sick smelling like pastry for some reason and it's very distinct. My mom gave the sweater to my younger cousin without washing it beforehand whatsoever because it still looks clean and still looks okay and when she gave the sweater to my cousin she said to him that you wash it first before you wear it. The fact that my cousin is still a tween like 13 year old and his mom is close to us so she knows where the sweater came from and once she washes that sweater and smells it, it'll be game over, I will have no face to show to them. You know what's worse? They literally fucking live right next to us that's why my mother just casually gave that sweater to my cousin. Too long did not read. My mom gave my cum sweater to my cousin and I'm extremely nervous about his family finding out. Edit. To anyone saying I'm gross AF. My room is actually clean and I just have this kind of like storage box where I put my sweater on that's been left untouched and basically forgotten until now. I changed you know, I don't do this stuff anymore. This cum rag has been passed down for generations. Sounds like in your country cum me downs are pretty common.
She fucking hates your cousin and you didn't even know. Leave a fresh nut for cuz. Way to pass down your jeans. Why aren't people using tissue or toilet paper to wipe their mess? I don't know about y'all but I'm always prepared to wipe with something that I can flush the evidence. Today I fucked up by laughing at my boyfriend's loud shitting. Context. Boyfriend is a transgender man. He doesn't always pass well since he's pre-T so he often uses the woman's restroom. My boyfriend and I went to the beach today. We went to the changing rooms, bathrooms to get into our swimwear and do our business. It seemed empty, so I chose a stall and began to get changed. I heard my boyfriend enter a different stall and sit on the toilet. Almost immediately after, I heard the sound of absolutely explosive shitting. Like, echoing off the toilet bowl, shotgun-style poops. It was bad. I didn't know he had to go, so I laughed and said, perhaps a bit too loudly, god damn, bro. He did not respond. And like, it just kept going. So I kind of laughed about it, because I apparently have the humor of a fucking seven-year-old. Eventually, I hear him flush and leave the stall. The sounds do not stop. It is as I begin to process what is happening that he looks at me through the crack in the stall door and gives me the most frantic head shake I've ever seen, confirming my worst fears. Some poor woman was blowing it up in the bathroom. Someone that we had missed coming in. And I was just, absolutely taking the piss out of her during a seemingly already quite unpleasant experience. My already sunburnt face was absolutely fucking burning as I stood in the stall, waiting tortuously for her to finish her business and leave lest I leave my stall and we have an unfortunate, awkward meeting at the sinks. My boyfriend was absolutely appalled at my behavior, but I later on found out that he was crying into his shirt trying not to laugh when he first realized what was happening. I am a horrible person. Colon opening parenthesis dot. Too long did not read. Boyfriend and I use the restroom together. I hear him taking a really loud shit and make fun of him for it. It was not him. I gave someone an involuntary, hell yeah brother. At the racetrack when they decided it was time to unleash hell on the porcelain. Completely unintentional surprise reaction. Never got a response. Sometimes my fight or flight comes up comedy. I dunno. This could be a tifu, but this just sounds hilarious. And the, goddamn bro, was probably nicer than something absolutely ripping her apart. Lol someone did this to me once at a big gas station once I let out a loud one and the guy in the next stall over said, damn son that chili must have been good, it made me chuckle. It doesn't matter how old you are, someone taking a loud shit in public will always be one of the funniest things. Years ago, my son and I were in a restaurant bathroom and this guy darts into a stall frantically gets his pants down and violently blasts liquid poop and we died as we ran out to spare him further embarrassment from sustained cackles. We all poop and fart because they are naturally occurring things with our bodies, but goddamn will they forever be funny to my lizard brain. I had a similar experience. Friend and I walked into the bathroom and the smell of pure diarrhea hit us. I announced loudly, gosh, someone doesn't feel well. Only to continue into the bathroom and see feet under one of the stalls. Lady didn't leave until we left. Tifu by telling HR I came in my pants. Tifu by telling my HR I came in my pants. So this happened last week. I live in a state where our mornings are still chilly but the afternoons have been getting warm in the 80s. So I left the house at 6.15 a.m. in pants and a t-shirt and had brought a dress to change into at lunch per the weather forecast. So the end of my lunch break a group of us are sitting at a table soaking up the sun before we have to go in. Our lovely HR lady was on her way in and stoked to chit-chat with all of us. She says, beautiful day, and I said, yes it's such a nice day I came in my pants and had to change into a dress. She agreed and walked inside. About one minute later a fellow colleague of mine looked at me and said, I can't believe you just said that to HR. Of course I responded with what do you mean? They say, you came in your pants and had to change into a dress. And stared at me until it sunk in, when it did finally sink in I about died. More comments were made about camera checks to see if this was done on company time and yada yada. Fair enough to say it was fun for the rest of the day. Too long did not read. So today I learned that coming to work in pants and changing into a dress should be stated like this to avoid confusion. I knew the weather was going to be nice so I brought a dress to change into. HR. Well, someone's excited about the day, I see. I do this all day long lmao. Not coming in my pants but saying staff like that. I talked to HR and I, jizzed in my pants, opened a window, and felt a cool breeze and I, jizzed, in, 
my pants. Today I fucked up by trying to turn a bad pun into a today I fucked up post. This is dumb. Nobody is dumb enough to think like a teenager on this. Especially after talking about the weather and changing into a dress. Whoever side commented you op is the real child who is thinking with the wrong head and wrong terminology for work. You did nothing wrong and said nothing wrong.